Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the Taurus G2C and the Taurus G3C and we're going to look at some of the changes that Taurus made with the new model. Let's start here with the G2C, an extremely popular model from Taurus. I said many times this was the gun that brought many shooters back to Taurus and, and it has to be one of the hottest selling guns in America and don't take my word for it you could ask any gun store worker any holster maker and they will tell you this gun is extremely popular and in high demand and it is unloaded but now we have the G3C many people were wondering why even change it well I said in my range review that all the changes made I think were good changes and you know they kept the msrp at 305 now the first change that i don't think anybody's going to argue with is that taurus gives you three mags three 12 round mags in the case as opposed to the two that the g2c will give you now it will accept the larger cap mags in the full size g3 but it will also accept and this is an unloaded gun too here we have a sig p226 mag that works no problem all right, and then we have 15 rounder, and then we have a Canic mag over here, and this will lock in there. Now, it will not lock the slide back, but it will charge around. So here we have, what is this, an 18 round mag, and that will work with both of these models. If we look at the slide, we'll see that there are some changes. You know, front serrations with the G3C, that deep indentation right there is not as pronounced on the G3C. So you look at that little change there on top of the slide, we can see that the loaded indicator bar is gone with the G3C. They have a sight hole indicator, and I, I actually think that's a good move. With the sights, you can see that you have the standard three-dot sights. Taurus went with metal serrated rear sight drift adjustable and a pinned in metal front dot and they are interchangeable with glock and other aftermarket options out there whether it's fiber optic or night sights they made them so that they are more standard with other guns in the industry uh, good good move no doubt now one of the most popular things or, or greatest questions that people ask is what about the trigger now if we look at the G2C it has a front or shall I say a trigger safety blade all right that that blade some people have said pinches their fingers all right it doesn't make its way all the way into the trigger and the trigger is a little bit more rounded it's not a bad trigger we pull the trigger we're looking at a reset right there but some people have said it actually pinches their trigger finger not so much here this trigger bar is much wider it feels much better it makes its way all the way into the trigger shoe and the trigger pull i measure at probably a quarter pound difference reset similar so i don't see a great difference in the trigger weight but the comfort on the trigger is superior and taurus says that they made a flat face trigger you know i don't notice a great difference I suppose a little but I will say it is more comfortable shooting we look at the bottom of the grip here we'll see that there's a scallop there that's what Taurus is calling it and in the mag there's a scalp in case you need to rip the mag out if something gets stuck if dirt gets in there whatever the case you'll be able to get a good grip on that and rip it out they don't have that with the G2C and the grip itself I don't see a great difference I thought I did when I first got the G3C, but I'm taking that back. I rethought that. I checked them out, and the grip feels pretty much the same. Taurus has mentioned that the G3C shares holster compatibility with the G2C, and that may work for leather holsters, but I'm over here now at multi-holsters. I have a Kydex holster. We all know that Kydex is very unforgiving. Over here we have the G2C in which this holster was made for and it fits just fine but if we look at the G3C see their front serrations G3C it does not fit in the Kydex holster so Taurus may have been referring to leather holsters perhaps but it, they do not share the same 
specs in terms with Kydex holsters. If we look at the slides, we will see that the G2C has this indentation here that the G3C does not. At least it's not as pronounced, and I think they did that because they added the front serrations. And so that is the difference. From this part back, it looks to me to be the same specs on the gun, but that forehand prevents the G3C from working in a G2C Kydex holster. Let's go ahead and get the G3 on the scale. We'll see the unloaded weight, 21 and 7 8 ounces. And let's see, we'll put a, a fully loaded 12 round mag in there. And the loaded weight, 26 and 3 quarters ounces. Let's see what the G2C is weighing in at unloaded, 21 and 3 eighths ounces. So hardly a noticeable difference. One of the things, we'll get this mag out of here and check clear, that many people want to know is, will the slide work with the G2C? And let's check that out right now. We already know that the holsters are not interchangeable in terms of Kydex, but here we have the G2C slide, G3C frame, and we will see that it will not work. It gets to about right there, and I don't want to force that on there. All right. This will work, but it won't work well. <laughs> so basically it won't work then because you can get it on and you can go to rack it, but it won't, it doesn't want to go into battery. All right. So you have to kind of work to get this thing off. And it's just not something that is recommended. When I did my range review, a lot of people said, hey, you didn't shoot hollow points so i went to the range specifically to shoot hollow points out of the g3c to put the rest or at least confirm that it will function well so that's what we're going to do today i've got six or seven rounds loaded up of remington golden saber black belt and i also have some l tech and shell shack technologies uh, loads that I, I feature quite often so we're going to run two separate loads of hollow points through this now i don't have thousands of rounds i just got it so this is not a longevity test this is this is only a function test to see how well it will run hollow points so let's go ahead and do that now and we're starting out with remington golden saber black belt All right, and the one thing that I really enjoy with this is that each shell ejects pretty perfectly off to the right. This is L-Tech Shell Shock Technology a combination load, 124 grain, 9 millimeter hollow point. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice load for sure. I've, I've featured it quite a bit. I've carried it and it's it's pretty true uh and shall i say a, a real nice nine millimeter hollow point load let's go ahead and take a few shots here. and no problem we'll notice that both guns have the serial number on the dust cover the g3c also has it built into the frame right there we'll also notice that over here it says Bainbridge, Georgia. Taurus moved to Bainbridge, Georgia. And then on the G2C, it says Miami, Florida. So that's a minor difference. But a thing that is worth noting is that Taurus added a Tenefer finish on the slide. And they said it's a stronger finish that will help prevent rust in the future. That That's a good thing. And then they also added a Teflon coating on all of the, the controls throughout the gun. It's the thumb safety, the, the uh, slide stop uh, along the trigger, the takedown levers, all that has a Teflon coating and that is there to create longevity with those controls. I don't know if that's really true or how much it's needed, but it's certainly a nice touch from Taurus. So you can see that the improvements made are nothing that would sway anybody away from the G2C or going in the direction of the G3C. I am told that the G3C will replace 
the G2C. So if you have a G2C and you love it, stick with it because you may not be able to get one anymore. Let's but I do believe that if anybody back. goes for that G3C, sure they will not be disappointed. I think Torth did a fine job with this handgun. And I think once it gets out and available, many shooters are going to love it. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.